Hello everyone. Um, my name is Anthony DeRose. I am the chair of the uh, Rhode Island Democratic LGBT Caucus. Uh, but many of you know me as the drag queen Jacqueline DeMera. And um, I'm here on, uh, to represent um, Congressman Cicilline. Um, he couldn't be here, but he did have some remarks that he wanted me to, to deliver on his behalf. Uh, dear friends, I wish very much that I could be with you in person this evening, but I am in Washington, D.C. as Congress is in session this week. Like all Rhode Islanders, I am heartbroken by the horrific display of violence in Orlando last Sunday. My thoughts and prayers are with the victims, their families and loved ones, and the people of Orlando as they recover from this unspeakable atrocity. It is outrageous that LGBT Americans continue to be the targets of such horrific hatred and violence in the year 2016. You cannot look at the news today and conclude that we have full LGBT equality in this country, because we don't. There is too much hatred in this country. Anytime an LGBT person is mocked or treated as less than equal, it is an attack on the values that all of us share as Americans. These expressions of bigotry and intolerance only serve to exacerbate hatred and violence, and we cannot let them go unanswered. I am proud to be a member of the LGBTQ community, and I am proud that so many of you are showing your support for the victims in Orlando here tonight. We are the, str we, absolutely, you can applaud that. We are strongest when we stand united toward a common purpose of equality for all Americans. It is my sincere hope that in the aftermath of this horrific attack, we will build greater understanding toward one another and move closer toward ensuing that every American can live free from discrimination of any kind and in a world where everyone is valued and treated with dignity and respect. With his warmest regards, David Cicilline, Congressman of the 1st Congressional District of the State of Rhode Island. Thank you.